is a student from Bloomington South by the name of Miss Chris Lewis. Who are you? Why even try to describe it when words are just sound? Who are you to say this sound has a meaning? Who's to say this meaning means anything at all? Because if something seems like it is but isn't, then it can seem like it isn't when it really is. So why try if there is no guarantee in trying? Why be something if there is no promise in being? Why make and break promises when the only promise is there is no promise? Is it worth losing your dignity to find your true self? But did you have dignity in the first place if you were not your true self? Why wonder if it gets you nowhere? Nowhere is a very deceiving place to wonder about. If you can only dream nightmares, then the fantasy and daydreaming becomes a nightmare. And, and this is in congruence with the National Arena. Um, every um, Sunday, it's for communities. Every first Sunday in February, and then every first Monday, schools follow it. I've been doing it ever since mm, the 90s when I was a high school teacher. Um, another high school a colleague, teacher colleague of mine um, told me about it and we would do it together and at, in, as I've gone to different institutions um, I've invited high school students. Every time I open my textbook I turn the page and check to look and sure enough is a cotton ball puff the chapter on African history as if this knowledge was a mystery starts out with slavery something I miss to see as being our beginning bits and pieces. We live peacefully and regally in our own nations while ruling with patience as we made pyramid foundations and taught the secret teachings of the ages. Now flip forward history's pages as England raided and plundered our land, taking gold, jewels, and slaves in hand in their attempt to become the man that has absolute power to plan and demand. Well, each year, man, they surprise me. You know, each year it's just like, wow, you wrote that? That's unbelievable, but that just shows you the growth in, you know, the youth. And that just shows you how socially conscious they are, how emotional they are, and how they really take things in, you know? Because, um, you know, they're affected by everything that goes around, and, like, a lot of times we wouldn't take them to be, you know, um, uh, the ones that really think about this and take it in and say, okay, this is a solution to that problem. But as you notice today, people brought problems, they talked about their inmost feelings, and then was like, yo, this is a solution for it. This is what we can do to better our current situation. I got an original poem I wrote. Um, it's a little off the path, but you know, it's called The Blue World. <laughs> Welcome to the world of the waning blue. So strong your wish to never be wary. Comfort can compose inside of this hue, like late, like late loving breast of Mother Mary. Here you will see no good is as it seems, and bad is never as hard as its lead. Pull life's plug out by the seams. Kill your dreams, but quiet the screams. Pay passion, no heat. One of the things I think is really great is this is an opportunity for all of the students at different schools to talk and communicate and see each other shine, you know, on the stage, and that's rare. Um, so I think that's really a plus. Then, oh God, is apathy seen as a sin? That's it.